Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake, part two. In the last part, we uh, fled from Nemesis into the sewers because that was a great idea and we don't regret it at all, right? So we're gonna head on down this hallway and see what awaits us. I don't know, but, uh, ooh, hunters maybe? There are hunters in Resident Evil 3, right? I can't remember. Like I said, it's been a really long time since I played the original PlayStation game. What's this? Let me check this out. Increased sewer security. Uh-oh, I don't like that. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we're placing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Huh. Joining the rest of us in the 21st century, huh? All right. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Okay, what if you don't have a personal battery pack? I guess oh, you're just what? SOL. Looks like it needs a power source. Okay, let's go find one then. Well, I guess we gotta go this way to go find one. Let's just fall down. Perfect. Oh, I'm definitely burning these clothes. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? Because they smell? Jill is very smell sensitive. Have you noticed that? Oh. Uh, uh, I think I'll just run away from this thing. <laughs> Whatever the hell it is. Like, no thanks. What? There's another one. Okay, you know what? We fight. We fight. Come on. Come on out. Uh, there's two of them. I dodged that, but whatever. That's cool. Just instant kill me. That's fine. I'll just die. Guess I'll just die then. That doesn't... I was hoping I could just smash it open with the gun. But, uh, no, that's not how it works. Okay. We'll have to get there some other way. Okay. Let's kill this one. There we go. One at a time. Is that enough? I'm guessing not. That's five shotgun shells. Still not enough, huh? Six. I don't know, but it took six shotgun shells to kill. That's unfortunate. Let's go this way. I mean, it is fortunate, because we lived. I don't know what's unfortunate about it, that we had to have the experience at all. Let's go, Jill. Nice. So this is another safe room. Explosive B. Okay, combine with, what was that? Combine with explosive A to create flame rounds, or combine with another explosive B to make acid rounds. Now, to take advantage of this, we're gonna need a grenade launcher, I think. And also, should I just put away the red jewel? I don't think I'm gonna use it. Let's put explosive B in there, too, while we're at it. Oh, discarding key items. You can discard items that have served their purpose, or any other key item with a trash can mark by selecting the discard command. Okay, I actually took these out of the box because it had that icon and I wanted to see what it was, but we'll put it back in. Was it? Oh, speak of the devil. It's the MGL grenade launcher and it takes up two slots. Uh, don't like that, but I'll take it. And then guess what? I'm going to put it right back in. Thank you, but I have the shotgun and I don't need you. I don't really like using the grenade launcher anyway. It's a little too flashy for me. Invoice from Gun Shop Kendo. <gasps> Robert Kendo, the gun shop owner. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXXX grenade launcher. Not exactly a catchy name. <laughs> Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but uh, I'm sure you'll work on that. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model. Uh-oh. 
and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price, as agreed. Handwritten note on reverse. Okay, tells you how to make explosive rounds, flame rounds, and acid rounds. And also, mine rounds can't be readily crafted, not worth stocking up on, won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. That must be what we saw in the sewer. The gammas. Research assistance log. Okay, you know this is a nerd. March 4th, water temperature 18 degrees Celsius. Gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movements sluggish. Combat potential low. April 18th, water temperature 20 degrees Celsius. It went up by two degrees. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive re results with a... <laughs> with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Hmm, interesting. June 30th, I only write in my log once every two months apparently. Not a very good assistant. Umbrella has officially shut down gamma research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the gamma line. August 14th. This is a whole month and a half later where nothing happened in between. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers, increased temperatures, ooh, 25 degrees Celsius, have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. I don't know why I made him sick there. I just thought it'd be funny. Sick nerd. Basically the same voice. Whatever. Gamma's quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days, we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly toward us, but I procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrolled. September 1st, we were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. September 9th, water temperature down to 21 degrees now. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. I don't know, but you're a nerd and I hate you, and I hate doing that voice. I didn't anticipate doing that for four pages. It was way too long. Actually, let's go ahead and take out the grenade launcher. Cause you know what? If it takes out the gammas real quick, might be worth it. Don't have to spend six shotgun shells, you know? Um... With all that said, uh, where do we go now? Oh, the other way! There was a fork in the road, let's go! Yeah, right here. So these are the gammas, huh? Huh. <laughs> One dead gamma. About to become... Two... Dead gammas. Ah! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. There we go. I was the Count just now from Sesame Street, get it? Because we had one, but now we're gonna have two, see? Now, did that kill it? Did one grenade kill it? It's a really long death animation, but it did. Okay, that's worth it. I take it all back. We want to keep this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is way uh, more efficient than using the shotgun. Do I go... Oh. It's a secret, guys. Ooh. What's this? Gunpowder? Uh-oh. Shotgun shells. I'll take this. What's this, though? Sewer workers' notes. Hey, it happened again. <laughs> I don't know what this accent is. They got gained this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed them all. Head to toe. Tried to warn them. When Bill went missing two weeks ago, cop said he'd probably skip town, but I said, hey, no way. Not with this baby coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke breathing toad faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. It's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ, neither. Next time one of these freaks shows his face, I'm gonna hit right in his big, ugly mouth. All right, we got a shoot first, ask questions later, brutish type here. Okay, and he's dead. Uh, okay, we do want this gunpowder, but maybe some other time? Is this the same 
sewer structure from RE2. I don't know. All right. There he is. Let's do this. Come on, open your mouth. It's time for your medicine. <laughs> so good at trash talking these guys. The only awkward part is that now we just have to sit around and wait for it to die. Slowly burn to death so we can run past it. Thank you. So what's in here? Something good? Huh. I can't tell where we are in relation to everything else. So this is something that's been driving me nuts the whole game. When Jill walks around on the floor, sometimes it can sound like there's a bobblehead. There's like, there's like a certain boot clink in there. That sounds like it could be a bobblehead wobble. It's like every fifth, every fifth sound is like this weird boot clink. Okay. So we got high grade gunpowder, but we don't have any space. A love letter. My little darlings. It's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course that voracious and insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Those were Hunters. Oh, I see. But Gammas. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and combine these. Thank you. Open up. I need a hip pouch. Like, really badly. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I've already missed one. Because it seems like I should use it. Explosive A. Where am I gonna put this? Oh, brother. What is this? Battery pack? Oh, we need that. We need that for sure. All right, I'm back at the item box. I'm actually gonna store the shotgun for now. I know. I know. But I think I'm gonna go grenade heavy here. We're gonna get the explosive B because there's explosive A back there. I'm gonna have the pistol and the grenade launcher as my loadout for now. Now right here, there's just two flame rounds sitting at the side of the sewer. So I guess I'll just go ahead and reload this, right? Has to be manually cycled. I remember them saying that. Okay. Let's go back up here. We gotta get that battery pack and go all the way back. So before we do that, let's load up on everything. Let's combine the gunpowder. Thank you. And I'll just combine these together. And then we'll uh, combine those to make more flame rounds. Super fun. Five flame rounds. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Pick up the high grade gunpowder. And finally, the battery pack. We're going to go all the way back. This takes up two inventory slots. Say what? Two inventory slots. We've already been over there. I think we've been everywhere we need to be. Okay, got it. The awkwardly wait. Yeah, yeah. The fire hurts you, which makes sense, but I need to get past. Excuse. Right here. Now I think we take a left here, actually. Yeah, we do. Open. I think I would find these Hunter Gammas a little more interesting if we didn't just get tons of grenade launcher ammo. Because we can just, wait, is this where I was? Or is this a different area with a different battery pack? Yeah, I didn't go, I didn't go all the way up here. Hello, what's this? Oh, it's locked. 
Well, let's put the battery pack here for now. We can take it out later if we want to. Because there's another one downstairs. Right? Okay. Hello? Any regular zombies? No, too much to hope for, I guess. Come on. Open. Now we'll wait for you to die. Take an awful long time to die. Pretty selfish of you. What about my needs? I don't have all the time in the world, you know? Okay, we've opened it up. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go get the battery pack back. 200 IQ play from Jill Valentine here. Let me through. Uh, ooh, are we on the other side? Yeah, we were on the other side of this earlier. So, you would think that we would use the battery pack here, but let's explore a little bit more. Oh, okay. Let's bop down the ladder. So we're doing all this just to go through a battery powered door, I believe right there. <laughs> we won't do that yet though. We'll use it here as well. There we go, use. Now let me in. What's this? Hip pouch. Oh, thank God. Okay. Explosive A, we'll just take that. Gunpowder. I noticed we, like, a lot of the items that you pick up are just ammo in RE3 so far. Okay, here we go. We've been bottlenecked. I think we've been everywhere in the sewers, except here, so this must be the path onward. And I didn't miss anything that I know of in the sewers, except, hang on, that, there it is. I was like, that's unmistakably a bobblehead. Thank you. Now what? Stars time? Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Did you, though? Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Well, but there's actually another part of the city I didn't go to. Ow, that would hurt so much to be picked up by your head by that, like that. Ugh. Oh, you have a gun now! A flamethrower. Escape the creature. No, I dodged! <laughs> I guess it wasn't a perfect dodge. How many times have I said that in the playthrough so far? No, I dodged! Clearly not. Clearly I didn't dodge. Don't leave your grenade launcher. I can use weapons? Yeah, apparently. Isn't that a surprise? Now, is this a safe room? What's in here? We got explosive A. We can combine these to make explosive rounds. Not bad. Oh my god. There's a bunch of you guys, aren't there? Well, you're really the only important one I need to take care of. Okay. <laughs> oh no, that's him. Okay, let's keep going. I think he's, is he setting a fire down there? I just kept moving. I'm oh, sorry, hold. Thank you. That's great. See, what are you doing? Can I see you down there in that inferno? Hmm. We'll just leave him behind. There's a ladder. I'm right here. Ooh. Things are getting hot, hot, hot in here. Even harder than they were before with Jill. Ooh. Excuse me. So what's the plan, Jill? We're going up? Go, Jill, go. You got this. Hop here.
Okay, he's still back there. Dude, you're never gonna catch me at this rate. You're really terrible at your job when you think about it. You, like, you've let me escape from you countless times. Jill, I hate to say it, but unless you've got an idea for how to get down from here, I think we're gonna die. Okay. Does somebody have a helicopter? Usually a helicopter gets us out of this situation in Resident Evil games. Oh, nice! It's all of our possessions. <laughs> Here they are. Okay, I'm gonna take out three of my hand grenades. Because I haven't used them yet, and I've got three of them. I actually, shouldn't I have four? Whatever, what's this? Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. People are having trouble sleeping, so. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current unrest has subsided. All employees are to stay at home and await further instructions. You don't need to tell me twice to stay at home. I've been doing it for weeks now. Hey, oh, can't get away from it. Not even in a video game. All right. So is this the big battle, Jill? There he is with his little flamethrower. How cute. Oh, you want to fight? Ow. Defeat the creature. Okay. Did you say, what were you going to say, Jill? Were you going to say, like, hit his back? Because we could do that. Like, aim at the tank. Can I please get out of there? Oh my god. Ow, what? He's just roast! He's like literally roasting me alive and I'm only in yellow caution. We just need to damage the tank enough. Okay, and there's a generator right here. Can he explode it? Oh, he is not happy with me, I don't think. Maybe I can shock him over here. Come on. Nice. Okay, I think we staggered him twice. So, looking pretty good. I'm sorry. What is that magical device you have? Hello. What's in here? Oh, I... You boxed up the green arb for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> what makes this one any more special than the others? Let's combine these. I'm trying to, like, there we go. Oh, he hates that. It's still kicking? Okay. He's just gonna. There we go. So like, maybe I just shotgun him in the head a couple times? That doesn't seem to work. Ooh, there's some rounds over there. I didn't even see those. Give me these. Oh, handgun ammo? Oh, hell yeah, explosive rounds? We can keep this up all day, my friend. Oh, it's like on a curve. He bypasses them! Look, he sidestepped! They were just flame rounds anyway, so... Hey, there's something over here! Don't tell me it's another boxed up herb. It isn't. That was a lucky dodge. Okay, I think what I have to do is I gotta shock him, right? And then... Not myself. There we go. Stars! Got him. He's dead. That's all I had to do. He's dead. Wow, this is action packed. How's she gonna get out of this one? Oh, 
I should have stayed home today. That was a close one, Jill. No broken bones or anything, though. You're fine. I got an achievement. Nemesis down? Why is there a question mark in the achievement? Could it be that he's not really down? Hmm. Alright. Well, let's just assume he is for now. And, uh, where are we now? Back to the demolition site? Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You alright? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. <laughs> what were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. I like how Carlos talks about Nemesis like he's Jill's ex-boyfriend or something. Yeah, fuck that guy. You're better off without him. You don't need him. I'll make you see that. Huh? Huh? There's, there's no, like, looting here. Oh. Ten handgun ammo. Just sitting on the hood of this car. I'll take it. Uh, right here? Do we climb up, or...? Yeah, we do. Actually. Oh, nice. Okay. This is a convenient little bridge. I like it. And we're safe from zombies up here, too. Oh. Can I snipe them from up here? Oh my god, you can. Oh, this is so much fun. I love playing little games like this. And, uh, you know what? I don't have to kill all these guys. <laughs> There's so many of them. Well, no, nope, he's not getting up. Wow, check it out. Can we get in there? Ada? Leon? Claire? You guys there? Are you guys hungry? Would you like to go to restaurant? I hear it's good. Wow, okay. Actually, let's just uh, move on from that. Where are we going? Gun shop, Kendo. That's what we want, I think. Can we get in? We can, yes! Explosive B, picks him up. Robert! Where are you, buddy? I'm going to combine this. Cool. Semi-auto barrel for the shotgun. I'm sorry, what was that? Your inventory is full. Does it- oh, it makes it longer, doesn't it? Explosive A, combine that. Flame rounds. Oh, we've got so many rounds! Do you got a hit pouch in here? Don't move! Shit, chill! There he Kendo, is. you're alright. You're all alright to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway? Well... That's good thinking. Oh, we already know what when he's we get thinking out, about. There's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. It's my job to do stupid things. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. I'm coming in. Coming in. It's not time for us. <gasps> Did you hear that? <gasps> Poor Robert. We hardly knew ye. Okay, we're gonna use the uh, item box here to dump a bunch of stuff in. I'm, I'm gonna dump all these grenades in there. There's just so many of them. This is what I really want. Here we go. Combine. Nice. And it does make it two slots. Makes sense. Makes sense. 
At first I was like, three slots? But it's, <laughs> it's only one slot without it. So I was way off there. Kendo's gate key, let's take it. And let's uh, save. I know I keep saying, let's save. Like this is some sort of collaborative effort between you and I, it's not. I'm literally doing everything. I should say, I'm going to save now. You need to be more confident and definitive when talking about things that I'm doing. Okay, now one thing that bothers me, this whole area right here, it's red. I want to kill every single zombie. What? He came back even after I shot his head. I'm going to be really mad if the red is from just doing this. Because I can't find anything else here. Wow, oh, okay. Like, yeah, are we good now? No, there is something out here. Where is it? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna move on. I'm starting to drive myself a little crazy here. <laughs> oh, what? Ow. Oh. Nice. Come on, get out of here. Hey, did you hit yourself? Stop hitting yourself. Now, can you smack me from behind the gate? That's gonna be the big question here. I don't think he can. Did that do it? It did. Maybe we'll switch to the shotgun for now because we've got a whole lot of these in here. Easy. Ow. Ow, give it a rest. Hate those things. What's well, dead now? Do we just leave? No, let's go upstairs. Anybody home? You got any games? What's this? Oh, Raccoon Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled. <laughs> Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays and there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. <laughs> However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the manager's. Take that death trap down. Sincerely, Timothy Wiles, age 69. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. Do you think I came in here without my lockpick? No way. Here it is. Let me in there. Okay. Three explosive rounds. <laughs> Great. Are we full up? Yeah, we are. Oh boy. Oh, I can I can bend this though. Discard. Yes. I've got so much ammo. Like I don't know what to do with it <laughs> at this point. Okay. Does this connect back to where we started the game, or...? Oh, give it a rest, dude. Does he have a rocket launcher now? He does, and he's very proud of it. Let's go. Am I doing this right? Am I dodging this correctly? Okay. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> the dodge is so awkward, but hey, it works. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Whoa. Somebody got roasted there. Nice job, Jill. You are avoiding death left and right. No. That monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed it. I thought we did me too. Me too. Oops. Okay, we just got hit by a rocket <laughs> from a rocket launcher. No big deal. He's so smug. Now nah, we're good. If we got hit by a rocket, like a secondary explosion, like radius effect from a rocket, from a rocket launcher, but we're, we're okay. It took me forever to get that sentence out. It felt like that sentence would never end. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, now I remember what we read. The head is kind of... Head is kind of wobbly. Got it. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. How, Carlos? How? I'm leading right to you. It's okay. Trust me. Okay. Wait, I don't think I can go down on the other side. Or oh, it's blocked off. Look at this. We can't get over to the other side. Oh wow, everything's on fire. Head back to Jim's crabs. This is all on fire too. No. Oh. oh. Uh. Get over. Get over. <laughs> Can't believe we had to flee that head. Well, hope nobody was in the donut shop because they're entombed in there forever. Oh my god. Give it a rest, bro. You know what's really frustrating to me? I didn't go into this store. And now, I can't. Now I can't go into it because it's on fire. They thought of everything. Hey, Carlos, thanks for waiting up. He is super thirsty. Go, Joe, go. She's like, I, I love him. Oh, I about him. No, don't kill him. Carlos, get in. Oh, nice. It's not gonna be enough, though. Come on, let's get out of here. See that dent? See this dent in the door, Carlos? This was almost you. Okay. Let's cool it with the cowboy antics, okay? Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Uh, no argument there. <laughs> well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, uh, you'll be safe. All right, yeah. So anyway, uh, where are we? Should I heal? I just don't like her limping around. There we go. What about you? It's more of a pride thing than sound. anything. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Carlos, you're such a good dude. Why are you working for Scumbag Umbrella? He probably doesn't know. He doesn't know about Umbrella's treachery. About all the experiments. Well, anyway. You guys. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. 
This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, carlosless world. Okay. <laughs> Props You'll to the voice to actor for getting through that line. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. He said a cold, cruel, Carlos-less world. I imagine that took several takes. And that's the ending of Resident Evil 3. Or so the reviews would have you think, because they all claim it's two you hours long. You don't really think pins will push you like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? You guys are talking loudly. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. What you think? What's he talking about? <laughs> Some sabotage happening, an umbrella. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just go. They're gone. Go. He's sweating. Wow, Jill, calm down. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Oh no. He's dead. <laughs> Get off my train. He's got the C4! No! Umbrella guy whose name I don't know! Wow, okay. I got an achievement. Escape from the city. Is that a Sonic reference? What do you mean, escape from the city? <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not jealous, like Tyrell. That. Well, she's not like anybody. <clears throat> yeah, Tyrell's jealous, man. Look at that face. He's like, hmm, I don't approve of this. Oh. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. Here we go. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Hell yeah, back at RPD. Let's check out uh, Carlos's inventory. Okay, combat knife, G18 handgun, uh, CQBR assault rifle. I'll be honest, those letters mean absolutely nothing to me. Uh, yeah, but tons of ammo. He only has weapons, no healing, Carlos? Oh no. Bodies. Hmm. Well, let's go. Stop! T. Come on, man. Brad now Vickers. He's a zombie. Sorry. That's how he got bit. The zombie talked. It was like Brad's last breath. Fighting for his humanity. Shit, it's locked. He's been transforming this entire time. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Oh, Brad means nothing Come to Carlos. I mean, look at this. You don't even know. He saved Jill's life. Oh, I got an achievement. An unfortunate end. Oh, could you not? Could you, like, not kill Brad? He stars. That could be useful. That could be useful? What do you mean that could be useful? Carlos, what kind of game are you playing? Let's go out here. This looks like a great place to be. <laughs> There's fire and zombies. Sweet. No. Can't get rid of this. Alright, well, Brad's dead. So, hey, what happened? 
Okay, Tyrell. See you later. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the Star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Man, custody? Tyrell, all business. I thought this was a rescue. Carlos. Carlos, take a look at this. You're so noble. I've located the Star's office. Great, where Remember, is it? Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. Oh, I know where it so is. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Tyrell, you're like that like kid from Malcolm in the Mill grew up. Super lame. You guys know what I'm talking about? The one All that right. like has you trouble want me breathing. To keep out? I'll keep out. You like grew up into this bitter man you see before you today. Now here's a weird fucking door. <laughs> We're here for bar. <laughs> Carlos. Here's a weird fucking door. Is that a beer scene? No, that's a wow. That's a lantern. Uh, guys, let's pretend I didn't just say that. Okay. Area looks clear. Yeah, we're checking out up here. You got a problem with that, Tyrell? You got a problem with that? We'll shoot you. I could kill you right now. Nobody would even know. Oh, no, we can't go over here. Damn. It's all boarded up. Who moved all this crap out of the way? So we know this is before Leon sweeps the place, right? So who moved all that stuff out of the way? Oh my god, you guys are gonna make fun of me. I thought that this plant was a green herb I could pick up and put into my inventory. Completely misjudged the size of the plant. Here we go. What's this? ID card security protocols. <gasps> September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. Jill, do you have a card? Where's your card, Jill? Also, we just took this ammo. We could have left it for Leon. He might have needed it. This is great, though. Liquors. What the hell was that thing? That was a liquor, Carlos. I just said that. It's like you weren't even listening. Couldn't have been a zombie. Oh wow. Can't go into the club key door. Let's just continue on down the hallway then. Scratch marks. Whatever left these. Couldn't have been human. It didn't stick around. Oh, it left. Oh wait, are we not gonna actually get to fight a liquor? Uh, here we go. All right, brace yourself, Carlos. It's one zombie. Stop acting like you're about to engage the horde. You're a one-man army. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, come on in. Come on in. Ooh, caught your head on the way up. That's how we do things around here in Carlos Town. Did I just say Carlos Town? Yeah, you know where you are? You in Carlos Town, USA. Big warm RPD welcome. Oh. Calm down, it's not that bad. We just kicked their ass. <laughs> Stop acting like we're scared out of our minds here. I don't know, maybe you are. You're still spitting out the one-liners though, so. You're doing all right. Okay. Wow, nobody except Leon was smart enough to push it over and go through the window. Okay, assault rifle ammo. 
Locker room T, CAP. You copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. <laughs> You're gonna be my guy in a chair, huh? It's about all you're good for, Tyrell. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay. I was gonna try to save these. I can still save them. For, for liquor. Wow. Back myself up into a corner here. Ooh, that's his dodge? It looks more like he's shouldering something. Yeah, he like puts- he like gets in a sneaky hit there. Carlos. Not messing around. Even your dodge. Ooh. See those head physics? Okay. Wow. <laughs> those head physics is great. Okay. So we killed how many zombies? Well, a lot. You got back up? I shot your head earlier though, and it like flopped around. Okay. Well, whatever. Safety deposit room maybe? Oh, don't have the key for it. Lock. Go into the office here and use our umbrella card. Or sorry, umbrella card. Stars card. Scope for the assault rifle. Oh, that's a no-brainer. Let's equip that right now. Combine. Thank you. What does it do? I mean, it adds a sight. So you know, accuracy. Oh my God. Come on, get up. Come on, get up, what's the matter with you? You can do it. <laughs> oh boy. Can you open the safe here? If you know the combination? What was the combination? Oh, I can't remember. Maybe we can open it if we find the same note. September 20th, arrest report. Rodney Gray, occupation unemployed, former electrician. Unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a timed detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Wow, Rodney. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for you. Wait, I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why does anyone understand? The corpse is attacked from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. <laughs> Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspects, person, and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogating officer, Wes Drucker. Thanks, Wes, for the detailed explanation. And also for highlighting the important text in green. Wow, I got it right. It's a hip pouch. It was 9157. Well, I mean, I guess it's a hip pouch for Carlos, so. I mean, how much are we gonna be playing Carlos in this game? I don't know, maybe we will be playing him a lot. I can't remember. Uh, hello. Good lord, okay. 
There we go. Die. You get back up and he dies! Dirty bastard, he got back up! Got you on the way back. Up. Idiot. Huh? Oh. Why don't you grab my ankles? Oh. Oh. Okay. I kind of fucked up shooting cops. Yeah, well, if you think that's fucked up. I uh, got some news for you. Oh, here it is. Here's the code. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, I got it. I because I'm pathetic and I speed ran RE2 so many times I just remembered the code. Let's see anything else in here. If cameras kill those things, I'd be set. Oh, uh, is it like, it's like a fatal frame? We're talking about fatal frame. All right, Carlos, let's go upstairs. And let's hope Mr. X isn't here yet. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. But I'm going to the third floor instead. I don't think so. Is there anything up here? Maybe there's an item. Ooh, a key? Ooh, a key? What's the key? Examine. It's got like an emblem on Safety deposit key. Safety deposit route. Oh, oh. Okay. No, we're good. Now, remember, uh, CAP, I believe, is this one. Oh, wait, what? No! Oh. DCM. Assault rifle ammo? Only 20. I think it gives you like a hundred in RE2. But whatever, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Why did it save? Is there a reason it saved there? Look at all my ammo, though. Pretty sweet. Feeling pretty power. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Oh wait, no, actually, we want to go down to the safety deposit room, because we got the key for it. Yeah. Nice try. Ooh, we got to fight a liquor. That was fun. Nighty night. Nighty night. Oh, the one-liners keep coming. Okay. Now, okay, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's still going, huh? Dead. Now, uh, okay, we're good. These are all empty. What? We got a green herb. Thank you. And what about you? Okay, there's a grenade in 109. There's some ammo in 106. 104, there's a battery. Okay, well, let's just say 104. I guess we'll just unlock these. Give me a second. Okay, we got a uh, battery. Mine 9 volt battery. Mine now. Yes, Carlos. Come it is yours now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need you to calm down, Carlos. Come to Papa. Oh my god. Okay. Are we all good here? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, what? Wait, there's something over there. What is this? Flash grenade. Okay. I noticed that there was a uh, red room on the map, so I went back and got it. All right, I'm gonna use the herb because I don't like seeing him. Where'd you come from? No! Carlos! Ouch. Fine, you know what? Die. Seriously, where'd you come from? Where'd you go? 
<sighs> anyway. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Carlos, I've hit a dead end at the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Well, I've killed everything between me and you, so you should be good to go. Here's Cap. Right? Yeah. Flash grenade. Alright. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're good here. Oh! Electronic gadget. Oh! Do you need a battery? Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I combine... Okay. The battery with the electronic gadget. Now it's armed. And then now we blow it up. Cool. Move. You could go further away than that. Well. <laughs> okay. You proud of yourself? Oh my god. Let's try this out. What is happening? Oh, it's the steam. Whoa, it didn't really do that much, actually. Okay, here we go. Come on. Wow, there's so many of you. I was like, what is hitting me behind? So many one-liners. I love well, slash, time, hate it. Number. Oh my god. So many right here. Okay, here we go. Amazing. What's behind me? Wow. You guys dead, huh? Huh? Double tap. Yeah. I knew you were trouble when I walked in. You too. Is there a liquor on the other side of this door? It kind of sounds like there is. To me. Do you hear it? It's like... <laughs> oh, I hear it. Doors. Liquor's worst enemy. Do we need to heal? No, we're good. <laughs> Did you forget already? Did I get him? Yeah, he's dead. I love liquors. Thank you. Oh, I can discard this now. Yeah, discard the safety deposit key. We don't want it anymore. Okay. Can I go in? No. Ah, oh, it's blocked off. Pick this up. Yeah, there's not really much to get except ammo. Here in the police station, which is... I don't know. I get it. Time to hack in. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out so of mad. there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. He just hung up on us. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. 
Mahal's dead. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Tyrell, you little weasel. I don't like you. I don't like you. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Or your beady little eyes. Another flash grenade. Holy crap, how many flash? We got three flash grenades. Shortcut? Yeah. I think we'll set it to three. I'm sorry, is this just open? It's not open in RE2. Wait, what's happening? Use. What was I? Combine. What was I thinking? Wow. It's late, guys. I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, I guess we're good. Look. An open envelope. Hmm. What was in there? Check it out. Chris Redfield's jacket. <sighs> Made in heaven. Who's heaven? Not mine. Chris Redfield. Chris! What else do we need to get? We can... Hey, question. Can we... No, the item box is not connected with Jill. That is too bad. Okay, we'll combine the uh, red herb with the green one. We have three full heals now. So, that's something. Report on the mansion incident. Ooh. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On Julia 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in the secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that happened, occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Can you imagine how much this is blowing Carlos's mind right now? No reaction, though. Is that Jill in the front row? Could it be? Maybe. Who else is in this photo? Barry? Wesker? I don't know. Let's go. Hey, you done yet? <laughs> uh, you know what? I've got three full heals. I'll just use one. Stand up straight, Carlos. Act like you give a shit. Do we leave now? Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Mihail. Jill! He's dead. Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. What do you say, take care of Bard? What do you mean exactly? I think we know what he means. Achievement, the Carlos Express. Several minutes earlier, here we are. He's surely dead after this. Find a way above ground. Am I the only one who made it? Yes, Jill. Your final girl. Always and forever. Let's open this up. Good thing we're on this side of the door, huh? What if we were on the other side of the door? Like, what does it look like? Is it just flat? Maybe there's another wheel on the other side Carlos? of the door. Come in. Carlos? Damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Well, yeah, those things don't have unlimited range. Oh, mine rounds. These were... These are supposed to suck, aren't they? Isn't that what that note said? It was like, don't bother with the mine rounds. They suck. Okay, duly noted, I guess. Go ahead and save. I've saved 14 times already. Oof. So many times. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end my recording session here. I don't know if this is the end of the video or not. If it is, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, if it isn't, then I guess I'll keep going.
and this will just be an awkward part in the middle of the video <laughs> where I completely break the pacing. Hi, I decided to make the video a little bit longer. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Let's get into this. It is the next day. Actually, it's like a couple days later. Oh, okay. Do I have a grenade? This is the perfect time for it, I think. Thank you so much. Oh, somebody didn't like that. Well, too bad, they're all dead. Didn't like that, but dead now. So, opinion does not matter. All right, are we good there? I just have to habitually check. Oh wait, there's some ammo I missed. I have to check the map and make sure that there's no red rooms because that means there's items left over. I would hope that people would figure that out by now. Oh my god, I kept mine rounds there. UBCS new weaponry notice. I also missed this. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. This is an incredibly different tone from the note that we got earlier that was dissing the mine rounds, right? These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they'll light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. My rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. <laughs> Fire them at walls on the ground or, or the ground, and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and to detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. All right, well actually, so that's what I was supposed to do in that little mine round tutorial hallway, but it's not what ended up happening. Uh, with that said, I don't really feel like using these right now. I, I think we can get away with not using them yet. I'm just gonna stick with the pistol and shotgun for now. I feel like we use the grenade launcher a lot at the demolition site, so I'm fine with just using standard weapons. What's up, guys? Oh my god. They grow up so fast. There we go. Got all three of them. But it took like 10 pistol shots. So... Excuse me, no one told you that you could get back up. Mister. Now I'm out of pistol rounds. And we just have shotgun. Uh, you know what? It's fine if I run out of ammo. It's fine. It'll make it feel like old school Resident Evil. Actually, I never ran out of ammo, I don't think, in older Resident Evil games. It wasn't really a thing that still alive. I can't stay here. happened. I know everybody yearns for the good old days and like, remember when survival horror was challenging and you had to ration your ammo or else you'd run out. I don't remember those days. What are you talking about? I just remember shooting everything that moved. Clock tower brochure, here we go. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of uh, several philanthropists. Having a hard time reading. I, I woke up about 20 minutes ago trying to get back into it. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over <laughs> 600 students. Unfortunately, the elementary school was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today, the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Oh, it's beautiful. Is that it? 
Wow, it's not really that tall, is it? They made it look like Big Ben in the brochure. It's actually, it's not that big. Let's go up here. Is Nemesis gonna attack us on the bridge? Dude, he's still on fire? No one to quit, dude! <laughs> Bitch can't even swim. Whoa. Jill. Carlos, so casual. Respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Here we go. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Oh, what? He's big now. Bitch can't even swim, huh? What's going on? <laughs> I think I'm controlling it? I don't know. Is it a cutscene? It's hard to tell. I was just pressing W and holding shift. Uh, well, I've only got like 11 shotgun shells. So this is gonna be a tough ass fight. Maybe there's some ammo around. Maybe I should have kept the grenade launcher, actually. Okay, let's pick up some. There we go, there we go. Let's just avoid getting hit. Pick up some ammo. Here's some right. What is it? That's not ammo! What is that? That's nothing! Just gonna scan the outside of the map real quick. Here we go. What's all this? Pick all these up. Another red herb, which we don't need. Okay. He mad. What if we just... Okay. No problem. Check it out. We use it up. You okay? I should probably try dodging. I like, always forget that I can do that. Combine those. That's good. Real man now. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. Very impressive. Okay, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna charge? I don't know how I got out of that. Doesn't seem like I should have been able to get out of that. Flame rounds. Oh, sorry. What is this? No, red herb. We don't want that. Okay, just keep uh, smacking it. It screamed again, so probably we just gotta make it yell another time. Missed its head. Okay, it's running on the, ooh. Yeah, it sure seems like it. Probably it's got animal DNA. It's trying to get an angle on me. Let's see what happens. Take your shot. It's going up on the clock tower. You're about to take a nasty fall. Do I make the clock tower fall? So I was about to say, I don't think I can do that. Did a dodge there and it worked somehow. Okay. Okay. He is still running around. Is there something I am supposed to do with the clock tower? Oh, gotta find a way 
Hmm. Do I make something explode? Oh, hey, mine rounds. Too bad I don't have the grenade launcher. On, you freak. Jump on... Jump on the statue. Wouldn't that be funny? Do I make him... I must make him jump on something. You would think, anyway. Launcher or just a grenade. It's pretty nice. Am I doing this wrong? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Because I'm about to run out of ammo. Why don't I have my grenade launcher? Is there an item box here? Because I, di I didn't bring my grenade launcher with me. See? That's the problem. That's the problem, is I didn't bring it. Yeah, look at all these mine- I'm like, I get it, there's tons of mine rounds, but... I chose, I like chose not to bring one. So what, I can't beat him without it? Surely I just do enough damage. Alright. Oh no. Whoa, he just took a bite out of me. We can't even see what's happening. Am I dead? No, I'm, I'm good. Perfect dodge, bitch. That one wasn't perfect. Yeah, he keeps doing this. Am I just screwed without a grenade launcher? Oh. Okay. Look, she has a grenade launcher in the cutscene! Where'd you put it? Still there? Oh, come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. Hey, I beat him without the grenade launcher, so... I'm happy with how that turned out. Let's get more of the mine rounds. Okay, maybe I should just keep it on my person from now on. Look at all these. I've got more grenade launcher ammo than for any other gun. Maybe don't walk right over its hand. I would be throwing grenades on it while it's on the ground, personally. That's using your noggin. Is it poisoned? You. Interest. You've done me a big favor, miss. I wonder if he's evil or not. Achievement. I don't feel so good. <gasps> Avengers reference. The best movie of all time, Chill. Avengers. Sorry. Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? He's busy. What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Doctor Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You 
Hang in there, super cop. I got you. Now we play as Carlos. Right? Oh, he's already there. Carlos, don't you need like a nap or something? Fight it, Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Don't make promises you can't keep, Carlos. All right, I got I got a separate save slot for Carlos. He goes right here. Oh, what can we use on Jill? A first aid spray? I've got I've got a couple of them. You <laughs> you think that would be all that she needs? A first aid spray? All right, well, I guess she needs the doctor's help. So what's this? Oh, assault rifle ammo. You know, I just like to leave my assault rifle ammo on the counter in the hospital. Tyrell, just like Bart everyone now? else. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. We're gonna have to kill Tyrell, aren't we? He's out- Yeah, he's on his way to kill Dr. Bard. Hmm. Wow. Assault rifle ammo on the front desk. That's incredible. Let's go. Am I good? No, no, no. There's still- There's still something out here that I missed. A first aid spray. Now that kind of makes sense. By the way, we've got three of them. All right, let's go. Clean your hands. Wash your hands, please. True. True. All right, zombies. Zamboni. Time for this. How about you? Give you guys both time to get up. On the contrary, Carlos. We have lots of time for this. We have all the time in the world to take these guys out. Okay. That guy was a little aggressive, don't you think? Okay, which one of you is gonna get back up? There you go. Die. And you die. You all die! Isn't that great? Okay, what else is in here? Can we go into the side room? Oh, it requires a lockpick. Can we get one off of Jill? Spencer Memorial pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Wow. Amazing. Stay down. Okay. Let's go. Spencer was such a good guy making this hospital. Uh... Do I get that? I guess I get that. It's like highlighting it for me. Like, hey, you wanna... You wanna come get this? Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Hart. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. We got a tape player. Oh, it's like a... Key item. Sweet, and then we got a clipboard here. Nurse's journal, September 25th. She left it open <laughs> on the counter. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. What? But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. But I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through a forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? 
Cool, I could have just not read that, and I would know exactly as much as I do. Thanks. What's this? Use the tape player. You have to put in a tape. Oh, we got- Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? I know, Carlos. I know. It's ridiculous. Wow. We have like... Is that gonna help at all? We good? You're not getting in here, buddy. Unless I say so. This zombie over here has no idea what's going on. <laughs> he has no idea. Are you dead? Oh my god. Yeah, stay down. Can I get you out of there? Uh, I guess I'll have to wait to kill you. Okay, what's this? We need a key card for this? A key card that we don't have, so we'll go this way. Look at that, somebody got brained right there. Aw, Teddy. Isn't that sweet? Probably was a child's. Is this blocked? I guess so, because Carlos put his hand on it and said, Ugh! So I guess it's blocked. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's fine. It was just a jump scare. Watch out, everyone. This is a horror game after all. Thank you. Not buying that. Where's that coming from? Hi. I've missed so many of those, I'm sure. I've been trying to stay vigilant. But there's definitely been one like in the middle of a chase sequence that I just missed or something like that. Another safe room, I guess? There's like safe rooms all over the place in this game. I kinda... Anyway. Admit over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again! Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos! Wow, she is optimistic. Good for her. Optimism is needed in situations like this. But not blind optimism. Realistic optimism. I don't know what I'm talking about. No smoking. Anytime, anywhere. Who is smoking at a hospital these days? Nobody's doing that. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> Anybody here? <laughs> hmm, seems like a lot of people used to be here. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us here who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside. The screaming. But none of us will go out there because it would be the end for us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Itchy tasty. No, it says, Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help m See, she was sitting there and she was like, she was gonna write, help me, and she got to the M, and that's when she got grabbed, and she was like, ah! 
ah, and dropped her pen and paper and then notebook on the uh, desk right there. But she got that M. Just not the E. That's the only thing. None of these guys are getting up. Are you sure about that? Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Well, thank you so much for the information and the assault rifle ammo, which I can't pick up because I am seriously loaded with so many things right now. <laughs> I literally can't. Uh, okay. Hospital map. That's good. Okay. So there is a lot to do here. Yeah, there's a lot I haven't been to yet. Especially on the second floor. I hate to say it, but uh, if we've got th two combined herbs and three first aid sprays, maybe we put three of those in the item box. <laughs> we don't need every single one. I'm all caught up now. Okay, not this way. You can crawl under there, Carlos! Don't get afraid to... Get your hands a little dirty. Come on, let them out, Carlos. They want to come out, don't you see? Oh, I don't know the safe code to this one. Note about a tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and we'll get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. Oh, okay. I see. He's a pig and an asshole. Finally, you guys came out. I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along. Of course, now that you broke through the door, you're just standing around doing nothing, so... Wasn't really that impressive. Alright, we, we aren't able to open this just yet. Hi. Okay. Look at, look at this dude stumbling around. I'm just gonna get body shots on him. I don't care, we've got so much ammo. Okay. Yeah, you were gonna get back up, weren't you? How about you? That's what I thought. All right, let's go. I don't think so. Do you hear that? Oh my god. Eyes of a hawk, ears of a fox. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying, I'm trying my best. Hi. Okay. Anything else in here? What's this? Surely there's something in here besides just ammo. Okay, I actually, I don't think we can really do anything in here yet. Let's come back to it later. Alright. This way? Let me check the map. Yeah, let's go to the linen room. <gasps> oh no! I did- Okay! Russell, Russell. Tactical grip. Oh! What does it do? I'm gonna actually read it this time. Greatly reduces recoil and gives each shot a more stable trajectory. Yes, please? I will take that. Are you three slots now? No, you're just two. Well, we did it. Uh, okay. There's some blood here. It's strange that it's only there, though. We got a key. It's seen a lot of use. Thank you, Sherlock. Locker room key. Okay, we'll keep that and uh, we'll use it. Oh, we can go inside here. What's that? How do I get over there?
I guess I go inside right here. Okay, we'll unlock this. Thank you so much. Oh, what? We're doing a no damage run with Carlos in the hospital right now. He is totally fine. Mostly thanks to my vigilance. You. I mean, we are like double tapping literally everything we come across. Let's check the... Okay, can we go into the operating room or... No, we need to have like a key card for this. Where's the locker room? I wish I could get you out of there, dude. I want that. Mm, I want what's in there. It's saving. Why is it saving? Hmm. Okay. I guess the locker room is up here. Because we have the key for it. Can I find it? Staff room? Maybe staff room is where it is. Okay, I think it opens this one. Yeah, this makes sense. There's gonna be somebody alive in here. You would think. Or not. Are they all gonna get up? Wow. Whoa! Ah! Okay. That actually kind of got me a little bit. Anything? Hospital ID card, that's what we need. Get rid of that. Oh, don't make me do this. Okay, you know what? Combine. Let's just make another full heal item. Because we've got... Too many as it is, but let's have another one. Okay, hospital ID card, we got it. Let's open these. Flash grenade, okay. Uh, a hat. We don't want that. No offense, Carlos. Don't think it would look that good on you. And that's it. I guess. Yep, that's it. Alright, time to get up, everybody. Everybody, wake up! No? Alright, suit yourself. We gotta get this lockpick, by the way. Or maybe we go through as Jill. Maybe we show up at the hospital as Jill. Hunter? Yes. Oh, badass. Threat neutralized. Oh, he's not dead yet. It's an instant kill? I was at full health. I was at full health. It's an instant kill? Well, that killed it. Just one flash grenade and a clip and a half. Yeah, I can't believe that that was an instant kill. It just slashes your throat. That's crazy! What an asshole! Alright, well, we'll have to watch out for that. Damn! Alright, where should we go next? I think... We should obviously use the key card wherever we can use it, but I don't know where we can use it. There's a station, maybe? I think there's a couple doors here. Yeah, there's one right here we can use. Okay. Hospital ID card. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for granting me access. Good. There's more than one? There's more than one. Okay, alright, alright. It's getting real in here. Now, I don't know if those were just for ambiance or what. Yeah. 
<laughs> you were gonna get up, huh? I want to use my pistol ammo on these guys, these little flunkies. <sighs> Come on. We gotta find a lockpick somewhere. I am walking around, I don't want to alert them to my presence. Too many herbs. What good are the herbs against instant kill hunters, by the way? What good are they? Are we gonna cheese the door? Let's see, can they come in? Come on in. How did I not get instant killed there? I'm sorry, what? Come on in. Come on in, the water's fine. Come on. Come on. Chicken? What are you, chicken? Now he has the instant kill. I get it. Okay, I understand how they work now. Once you once you break the skin and they move into their second phase, then they get it. Not my favorite, to be honest. Not my favorite way to play the game, but I'll take it, I guess. Okay. Can't open it on. Come on. All right, the AI for these things. the smartest, the AI for these things. I gotta say, okay. Okay, the hand grenade actually instantly kills them. Gives them a taste of their own medicine. So, okay. Assault rifle ammo, there's gotta be something. There's no way you're still alive. Here we go, here we go. Audio cassette tape! You could listen to this if you had a tape player. Oh! Well, you're in luck, because I do have a tape player. Okay, we are all done in here. Audio cassette tape with tape recorder. Tape inserted. Let's go, examine. Can we play this? Is there a way to play it? Way to press play on the... I guess it's just for the voice activation? Oh! Check it out. <laughs> we good? Oh, you're still going. Let's just use up all of our ammo. Every single bullet. Let's just use it up. Perfect. What's in this thing? Better be good. It's just handgun ammo. I could have lived without it. Alright. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll run back through with Jill and get these simple locks and whatever the hell that case is in the courtyard and we'll just wrap up Carlos's run here. I assume. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. 
So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. What? But you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Polish his shoes? That's not her job description. Wow. What a douche. Yeah, Carlos, I, I'm on your side here, I agree. What an asshole. What a piece of work, right? Do we really want- I mean, you know what? Tyrell, I'm sorry for giving you so much shit. Maybe we should just kill this guy. Yeah, he sounded kind of scared there for a second. Bard. He's dead. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Tyrell, are you here? Did you kill him? Banquet invitation. Oh, his blood splattered on this. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Brian Irons sucks. Yeah, yeah, let's see. We would be honored if you would join us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Capcom, did you have a tester named Greg? Just curious. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. <laughs> okay, well, Bard, you suck. Just thought you should know that. I did like how he got a little- he had a little bit of fear in his voice and he was like, y You d d didn't read the documents, d d did you? And then he went right back to being an asshole. Yeah, polish my shoes. Whatever. You can't really do anything about people like this. Useless. Disgusting. Umbrella. Email from Nathaniel Bard to Greg Tester. Subject, REPLY IMMEDIATELY in all caps. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus. The Holy Grail. And it's not for my family. Not for my ladies on the side. No one's buying that, Nathan. No, Greg. I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you've got to get me the hell out of here now, without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry! My time is running out. Nate. So I know chaste is a word based on chastity. So I don't know if it's chast. Or if it's chaste. For some reason, I feel like I've heard it pronounced chaste. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... So whoever killed him didn't erase this video. <laughs> like, what's the point? I got 
Jill knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Yeah, didn't you read that note in the police headquarters? I was there for that. You already knew some of this. Uh, is this just open now? Where does this go? It's like a little closet over here. What? Is it here? What? All right, Jill. Hang tight. We're gonna give it to Jill. Why not Greg? T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. The Tyrell's Be Tyrell's gun. Careful. <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Tyrell. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my God. Your dodge needs some work, Carlos. Oh my god. These hunters are no joke. I love it. It's that instant kill that they get when their uh, face melts off. That's some crazy shit. I like it. It's some actual challenge. Which I like. As much as I like Resident Evil games sometimes, they're not as challenging as they should be, in my opinion. Okay. We're going back to the front. I mean, I guess I'm going to the lobby, right? John, you're running low on ammo! Shouldn't he know that he should save his ammo? There's a boss fight coming up. Doesn't he know that? Where are we going? Give the vaccine to Jill. Okay, where's Jill? Is she not? You're gonna be okay, Jill. Oh my god, I forgot she was here. I forgot she was here the whole time. <laughs> I forgot that we carried her in here. Okay. Come on. This shit better work. It's a vaccine. It'll work. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. All right, Tyrell. Maybe I was wrong about you. I thought you were like a corporate stooge. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Uh, I don't know if I have enough ammo for this, but I'll try. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. As long as there's no hunters, we should be okay. Although I did kind of waste a ton of my ammo. Detonator. Okay. Now the fun shit begins. Okay. Fuck. Okay. All right. All right. No, that's how it's gonna be. 
That's how it's gonna be. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, just gotta keep going, just gotta... Gotta kill him as quickly as possible and not worry about ammo. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Don't worry about accuracy, don't worry about ammo. We could use this actually right here. So like right there. I actually don't know, is that enough damage? Or does it just stun them? I think it might just stun them. How long does it go for? It goes for a long time. Okay. Right there. go. We are still good. When did you get in? Okay. Oh, I tried to do my dodge and it didn't work. Okay. Breaker, huh? Oh god. The breaker. Whoop. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I've got four first aid sprays. Wow. Wow 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 wow. Hip pouch. Oh hell yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's it's on my four. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now there's a breaker, huh? Oh my god. Defend Jill, okay. Oh, brother. Yeah, I don't know where the breaker is. Oh, what? I'm going crazy over here, man. Breaker switch. Oh, let's get it. Did I do it? Let's see... use? No, they have it! Oh my god... What?! I used up all my grenades. Quiet down, Tyrell. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. I'm like out of ammo. Is there any left? Nope. Nope, not really. We've kind of used it all up. Oh wait, no! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, I tried to do... <laughs> I tried to do a little punch there. Didn't work. You said you're almost there, huh? Now I 
just gotta clean up. Really? Oh, I thought he was gonna. I, I've been trying to do the punch. Lord knows I got enough uh, healing items. Like hell, let's just combine these. Use them. Like I've got a detonator. What's the? Ooh, I punched him. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Come over here so I can shock you, you idiot. Oh my god, this guy's going crazy. Let's just go ahead and use it. Who cares? Got him. I think. I think I got him? Yeah. Whew, okay. Place the detonator right here. Maybe you can knock the pillar down without explosive. Oh no. Hold out for the next 30 minutes, huh? Doing, we're doing okay. They don't like come back here, so oh my god, there's more grenades. <laughs> Got it. Bring it down. Nice. It just happened to fall exactly to block the entrance. <laughs> Got an achievement. You all right? I need a hero. Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey oh. motherfucker. What did you see? Did you see something, Tyrell? He was like. <laughs> Is he still gonna be here when we wake up, or? Hmm. He kind of just left me. Interesting, Tyrell. Jill. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. <laughs> Zombie Carlos. It's the only way. She couldn't do it. This guy that she's known for about six hours, she couldn't shoot him. Where am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate it can't now. be. This is not a test. Where's Tyrell? Not here. Pretty suspicious if you ask me. Alright guys, well, uh, that is gonna be it for this video. We're back with Jill, and, uh, this whole city is about to blow up, but we're gonna go use our lockpick on all these simple locks in the hospital and see what loot we get. <laughs> 
yeah, we're at about four hours playtime, so we should be able to wrap it up in the next video. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Resident Evil 3 so far, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Check the playlist if you want to keep up with the series. Think quickly.